Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Now this video is actually going to be a really interesting one as I will be doing a little bit of uh, picking apart the Sons of the Forest official trailer. This is the newest one. Um, I think it's been a, about half a year to a year, the last trailer they did, the first one for the new game. And I am a massive fan of the forest. I played it ages ago. Even If you even, even look back at my channel, I did many videos on it uh, back in the day. And I love, I love it. So... I'm not going to be going crazy in depth as I don't know as much as other people do because uh, some people are really like, they know everything about the game. But I'm just going to be picking apart what I see and what I predict could be in the game. Again, it's all due to change because it's only a trailer. But without further ado, let's get into this. Now, it seems to be very similar to the way the beginning uh, the first game actually enters as you, in the first game you do crash in a plane but you're a, you're a civ you know you're a civ you're a citizen and you crash in a normal plane but this is a bit weird you're crashing in a helicopter and you look like you're some sort of military some sort of military because there's no way you're just randomly flying over this over this place maybe you're here to I don't know, kill kill the cannibals or find something. I don't know, it's a bit weird. It doesn't it doesn't show much. And this is right here, look at that. Look at the graphics. That is insane. That is insane. It looks and look how tall those mountains are. Now, I don't know if that's just the one mountain, because I know in the forest there's you know, you see there's that like one mountain range. Um but here in this game, you don't know. That that looks massive. I don't know if that is the one only mountain or if there's many out there. But look at that. Look at the grass. Look at the texture on the floor. It's amazing. And this GPS. So obviously that's you in the middle. And the map looks massive. 593 meters away from the red dot. See now that could that could show how big the map is, but you don't you can't really tell. You really can't. But if, it, if we are keeping to this uh, this GPS for this game, for like the way, the only way to get around and like know where you are, that's actually really cool. And it would be really cool if you could actually like put um, like location markers on the GPS. That would be really interesting. Uh, and if if that is what we are going to use for the new game, it's a lot better than the cave map and the compass. <laughs> I'll be honest, the first game, you kind of just learn where things are. You know, you learn main points and main things to look at and you kind of know where to go. Look at that. So if you look here on the left, every hit that he does, there's snow falling. Even there, there's a big bit of snow that drops on the right. That is insane. The new forest is running off the, the newest Unity engine, which, again, gives them so much more like leeway of um, with the graphics and what they can do. What is that? Look at that. Look at the way that you can actually see the way you've tread, like where you've tread and walked through the snow. Again, this game is going to look absolutely stunning. What is so all oh, the solar panels? Wow, we didn't we didn't have them in the previous game. At least I'm not sure. No, we definitely didn't. That's crazy. I doubt we're gonna. So we're definitely gonna have electric, but I don't know how far it's gonna go. Obviously, it's not gonna be like rust where you can have turrets and whatever. I don't think that'll happen, but. That is really interesting. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to go further in the building. The first game, the building was so fun, crazy, but maybe we can take it to another level. Maybe there's more progression in this game. It's insane. Oh, she d she is freezing. Why isn't she coming at him to attack though? She's she's she looks like she's looking for like shelter. And I have watched this trailer before, and I do find it extremely strange that she appears twice. And she, she both times, look, this time she's got three arms. I don't know if I see her third leg, but that, this one, she definitely has three legs. So is it the same one or a different one? I'm not quite sure. And they look extremely similar. God, look at the fish going up. That looks really cool. And the mist. They are. The graphics are going to look absolutely amazing. But I'm very confused about this woman. Is she friendly? Do you befriend her? Because in this, in the snow, she seems like she's waiting for you. And in this one, she just seems like she's just sat there. Well, lay, laying there. It's a bit strange. Oh, this guy's wearing a mask. I didn't see, that the, didn't see that the first time I watched it. 
It looks like a glowing weird bone mask. They've got weapons. Oh, see, look, this is what intri intrigues me as well. There's guns. Now, there were guns in the first one. They weren't very good. You know, you're better off using fire on your weapon. But, see, this intrigues me that there's got to be more range of weapons in this game. Because I know later on in the trailer, you actually get a shotgun. And here is a pistol. And it looks like a full-fledged pistol. And look at that. They look crazy. Yeah, he's definitely wearing a mask. I don't know what gun that is. I'm English, I don't really, I've never seen a gun. <laughs> Look at that, that looks insane, the way the, the blood splattered at the back of the head. Insane. Look at that. The graphics are going to, oh, it's going to be so eerie. Oh, the digging. Look at that, that looks so realistic. Like, it's, it actually looks wet, muddy, horrible. I don't know why you would dig. Maybe for a farm? Instead of building like farm, farm plots, you can actually just plant in the ground, maybe? Oh, bunkers. Maybe there's more bunkers that you can go into. Maybe they're like a common occurrence here, like here and there. But this looks so strange. Like, there's still energy here. This is, like, depends how old this is. And ah, this right here. Now this is a 3D printer. Because as you can see on the right, it has a time, 10, Milliliters, I'm guessing that's milliliters. Available 90. So maybe you can choose what you make. But this is really strange here. This 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 is giving me vibes and it's reminding me of Timmy's toy. Now why would it be in this game? Is it the same is it the same map? So maybe is that mountain the same mountain? Is this set after that game or before that game? I don't know, I'm very confused. But this mask right here looks like it plays a massive part in the game as later on you actually see another cannibal that wears that mask and it doesn't attack so maybe that mask makes you blend in with them with certain cannibals I'm not quite sure but look at the the amount of detail this building is he split the wooden half he's pretty impressive to, to do the whole log in one here and especially there as well but the building looks so much more immersive it looks crazy and right here the animations for them breaking in is so much more in detail Look, they're actually chucking themselves. Before they just like flung their arms around and, and hit it. It wasn't the best. But then he's stealing it. So maybe they come in to attack you more. Now, when they attacked you in the previous game, they just kind of ran to your base, smacked their arms around, did a bit of damage and ran off. Or you kill them all. Um, but, but they weren't much of a threat. Only mutants were really much of a threat. But in this game, it looks like they actually have more of a... They have more of a goal, you know, like this, this, this woman is stealing your wood. Maybe they can steal sticks from your stick holder and your stones. I don't know. I really don't know. But that, it just makes me think of um, how much more they can do. Oh, zip lines are back. I just saw that. Look at that. Just up here. This line right here on the left. But yeah, they're fully jumping at the doors, which is really impressive. That, this guy right here. Now, he's wearing a mask, and he looks like he's just killed this person as well. He is grabbing by the throat, so I would assume it's dangerous. Look, you can see how long the zip line is. That's pretty cool. But he's so much taller. Now, this kind of makes me feel like there's going to be different types of cannibals, or maybe different tribes. Maybe they're fighting each other, or maybe it's just one guy. Again, I'm not quite sure. But this person is holding a shotgun. As I said earlier, there are going to be multiple weapons. Now, I don't know... If there's going to be like SMG snipers. I don't think it'll be over the top. Compared, like it is a forest survival game. I guess it depends on like how many bunkers are around. And like how common the weapons are to find. And then I would assume that ammo is going to be really difficult to find. Unless the crafting is that much more advanced. That you could actually dig deep into the ground. Maybe to get iron to make bullets and lead and brass. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that in detail. But again, you never know. They're not showing a lot. They're really not showing a lot. And right here, so as you can obviously tell, he's wearing that red mask that he found at the beginning. And this guy's kind of looking at him strange, as if, like, I don't know if I should attack you. And this is also what brings me back to, all the way back here, I don't know if this is Seasons or just the snow biome. Now, this is the mountain here, and it looks, it looks like a snow biome. But if we go to the base which is here we're right next to the mountain again we're, we're, near, we're still near to the mountain unless the map is actually that big I'm not sure but it looks like it's summer 
And then when we go to this mask, it looks like it's autumn because the leaves are changing colors. Because back here, look, that is so green. And even if we go back just a notch, right here, the bushes are green. And these are yellow. So is it, uh, is there like a, an area which the leaves are more yellow, more green? I don't know. That, that to me would assume that it's, their seasons. But look, it's green here again. I don't know if it's just a biome that has yellower leaves and red leaves maybe, but it would be really cool if there was actually seasons because that would make you the importance of getting warmth for winter and it would make it more immersive, I feel. And also here, this is another a new type of uh, mutant. Again, a taser. I don't know how many weapons are going to be this game, but it looks crazy. So this hole here kind of reminds me of the, of the one in the old game. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, down here in the bottom left, there's a two... Reminds me of the uh, the stink stink things from Black Ops, you know, the weird little crawly things. Except there's two, they're like conjoined together. Very confusing. There, there's gonna, I reckon there's going to be a wide range of mutants in this game. It's going to be insane. But yeah, it, this trailer really doesn't show a lot. It, it shows gameplay a little bit. The building, the weapons, but the new bunkers. Uh, maybe seasons. It, it's got a lot of. Qu I think this has got more questions in my head than previous. You know, I'm just really excited about when it comes out. I will definitely be doing videos on this in 2021. I reckon it'll come out Halloween 2021. But again, at the moment, because of COVID, games keep on getting delayed. You know, uh, it's crazy. But yeah, that is my predictions. Again, don't take it all 100%. Things are always going to change. You know, as they release more and more trailers, we will find out more. Start putting bits together here and there. And eventually, we'll have a better understanding of what the game is actually going to have and what it's going to look like. Now, it looks crazy right now. Look at that. But again, they will be fine-tuning things and everything along the way. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Are you excited for the game? Let me know right down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly what I'm going to upload next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.